So you probably found this channel because you want to start selling shirts. Well, you're in luck because Screen Print Direct came out with a whole starter kit just so you can print shirts from your house or from wherever you're at. Now let's go see what's in the box. So what's up YouTube, my name is Milo, I'm a full time screen printer and I work for my garage and today I'm not just going to show you what's inside the box, I'm going to show you how to use everything that's inside the box. So let's get right to work. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you, that starter kit, we're giving it away. Only three simple ways to enter. First one, give that video a like, simple huh? And the next two, well, I'm going to tell you through the video. So make sure to watch to the end. Let's go. So now that we have everything outside the box, let's go set up that press. So now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to mount this bracket to this platter. And it's really simple, it's only four screws and this is the way I do it. So what I like to do uh, is grab the center line, the center of this whole bracket. So this whole bracket is 14 inches by 14 inches. So say we put seven here. Down here, we make a line, make a line, same thing for, uh, for this one. So now that everything's lined up in center, we'll grab our marker, and we'll poke little, little dots through the holes on the bracket. So we'll know where, where to screw our, our screws. But before that, it'll be good to pre drill it. And it's good to pre-drill it so you won't crack the, the wood. Just wanted to check it out, test it. Now we're Gucci. Now we're Gucci. It's part of business. You live and you learn. You learn and you live. Probably gotta lower the I had it the wrong one. You don't want a lot of torque on the, on the drill. Just enough, you know, you don't want to over tighten it too. You can go in that crazy. So now, we're done. See this? Boom. Okay, we're done with the press for now. Now we need a screen so we can print. And I really don't want to use that one because I'm going to give that one away. Hmm. Let's go clean one. This is the screen that we're going to be cleaning. But before that, we have to remove our ink with our spatula. Reclaiming your screens this is probably the most dirtiest part about screen printing, but you need it. Now let me show you the, the steps and the chemicals that you need to have a successful, beautiful, clean print. Print. Screen. Screen. These are the chemicals that you need to start cleaning your screens. Classes of fresh wash, emulsion remover, and a dehazer. And of course, you need a little brush. Well, let's start with plastic of press wash. And what this chemical does, it breaks the ink on your screen because we use plastic or inks. And I believe plastic or inks stands for plastic based inks. But if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. Well, either way, 
the way I clean the screens is I spray the front, I spray the back, and then I grab my uh, scrub pad and I start scrubbing away. Circular motions, circular motions. After that, I let it sit for a couple seconds. I'll grab my pressure washer and shh, take the ink off. Now, if you're still sticking around for the giveaway, second step is to subscribe to our channel. And if you're already subscribed, you can skip this step. Now let's get back to the video. So after we remove the whole ink off the screen, now it's time to remove the emotion. And there's no other way to remove the emotion but with emotion remover. Yes, emotion remover. Coming to a store near you. No, I'm just playing. But either way, so it goes with the same process. You spray in the front, spray in the back, and you grab your pad again, and you scrub, 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 scrub. And you let it sit for a couple seconds, and boom. Uh, pop it off with your pressure washer. Now, small tip. Do not let the motion dry on your screen, because if it dries, before you uh, actually clean it, then you will have problems with that screen. And the last step, the dehazer. What this chemical does, it removes all the ghosting from the screen that the ink left. And um, it goes with the same process. You put some in the front, some in the back, you scrub, 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 scrub. Let it sit for a couple seconds, and then wash it off with your pressure washer. And you're done. Your screen is clean. Then after your screens get dry, you grab your scoop quarter and your emotion. Pour it in there and then you coat your screen. I like to do uh, two times in each side. And then I go back and I scrape the remaining axis. And that's it. So after all those steps are done, you grab your film positives and we go print our design. So two tips on printing on your film. Make sure you use an inject printer. And the second tip would be try to print on the highest quality possible. So you could get a very dark opaque looking print. So when you do go expose, you won't have any problems washing off. But enough talking, let's go burn this screen. So now, so now, so now, so now. I'm sorry, I say so now so many times. I gotta fix that. But so now, make sure you mount this press because we are gonna be putting pressure on the press and you don't want that press flipping over and hitting your toes or anything. Uh, don't be cheap like me and put tape on it. Actually mount it. Use some screws, mount it, or some clamps to mount it. So you have the press nice and sturdy. So now, well, anyways, let's, let's start printing the shirt. Now, if you don't want your shirt to move, put adhesive. Adhesive, it's a little tack thing. It's like a little glue that keeps the shirt stuck to the flatten. Flatten or pallet, whatever you guys want to call it. Just like that. Now, we grab the squeegee. Now if you do have money and a little bit of extra bucks, I recommend to get a really, a really good squeeze or a better squeeze, a regular squeeze. This one, I don't like it. You can still get the job done, but I do not recommend it. And the last step to enter the giveaway. Go to the comment section and just let us know your favorite color. 
And if you want to learn how to cure the ink on the shirt, we just did a video showing you four different ways to cure the ink. From the least expensive to the most expensive. So hopefully this video helped you out in any way. And if you have any questions about anything, please let us know in the comments. So thank you guys. Have a beautiful day. And God bless.